everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tanya and if you're stopping by for the first time welcome I hope you'll consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and if you're not stopping by for the first time thank you so much for your support today's video will be a part one of my what I got for Christmas uh, YouTube currently is flooded with all these videos and it's fun to watch many of them this video is not about bragging this video is not about showing off it's not about saying oh wow look what I got Basically, it's just in good fun and in good spirit just to share some of the items that were gifted to me very kindly and some of the items that I decided to buy for myself. So if you're interested in seeing what I have to share with you, please stick around. I will break this video up into two parts. So part one will be sort of more practical homeware type goods and part two will sort of be more about that. Well, there's not a lot of that, don't get me wrong, but still I have a few of those type of things. So stick around and let's get onto it. Okay, first item to share with you is oh, this little baby, this one here. This is my Prunetti pressure cooker. So this is one of those, you know, um, oh, 14 in one preset cooking cooking functions and I liked the idea of this because instead of buying a separate rice cooker a separate steamer a separate this a separate that everything can happen in this and I like pressure cooking because it cooks quickly with pressure it's also a slow cooker it's you know it does a lot of that so this is the Italian brand Prunetti and it's uh, apparently one of the more current models and I picked this up for myself I used of course Christmas as my excuse and I will one day use it in my own kitchen and it's a six litre capacity and I will review this for you when I actually start using it I don't know when that will be but I will second item I bought for myself also very house based is this one here this is the Dyson this is the V7 and it's what's called motorhead Origins. So this is the one that has, you know, a bit more function in the head itself. This is not the latest one by all means. I think the latest one is a V11, uh, but that one is well over a thousand dollars, and I wasn't interested in spending over a thousand dollars on that. I'd rather buy a bag. But anyway, uh, this one I picked up actually in the Black Friday deals on catch.com and this one was reduced from I think it was 600 or 699 or 659 something like that reduced down to 300 299 so I thought to myself that's a great deal it's good enough for what I wanted to 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 use it for which is does you know just the occasional cleaning and so on but uh, this is a handy handy little thing to have this third item I'm going to share with you is new but also very very old because mum bought this and has kept it packaged for many many years and has never used it uh, it does come and it did have an actual box but that box sort of was torn <laughs> in, in trying to release this from it the the box itself anyway this is a gorgeous little ornament it is by Royal Dalton and this is a floral ceramic or porcelain I think it's porcelain ornament but it's not just a, a floral ornament but just just got, like, look at the detail of these flowers just beautiful and some of these petals are actually really sharp and I know because it scratched the hell out of my hand but this item in particular has a musical function so you wind it up and it plays music uh, in the most delightful way anyway now I'm not necessarily going to use this for its musicality but this is sweet. So there you go. It's gorgeous little Royal Dalton. I don't know the name of it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Really, really pretty. Not very modern. Not really my style. But it's the sort of piece that you put in a little corner somewhere and is different enough that people stop and say, oh, that's, that's nice. Hmm, I love it. Next item I'm going to share with you is something I bought for myself and very much in that same vein and also very much the same brand and that is this here which is just in a black in a brown box. I was going to say black, I don't know where I got black from but anyway and this is a set of and a collection of Royal Dalton mugs and this is the pastels line and it, they're sweet you know you've got the four mugs this one here is a, like a light lilac color with dots this is like a lime green petal leaves this is almost like a coral orange zigzags and this one here is like a pink little diamond shape and these are lovely it came in a set of four and i bought these for myself because i like the shape of the mug i like the way the mug sits here we go in my hands 
for great size, nice and fat, but squat, not too tall. I don't like those straight up and down mugs. And I just, I loved it. And even though they're not all matching, I just liked the quirkiness and, and the fact that they were, that they are, in fact, all different print. Of course, I like to be matchy matchy. So they had also some beautiful bowls and these are almost like a rice dish um, they it's a very similar shape to the mugs where they've got the flat base and sort of the straightened sides but they're a great size you could use this maybe for a small portion of pasta they're not like a great big dinner plate or dinner bowl size but they're handy a bit of soup or rice with something on top or just on its own and i just cereal these would be great for cereal great size for cereal and i just i just loved them and i thought i, I want the matching bowls so, the mugs and the bowls. But wait, she said, there's more. So, of course, they had the matching dinner plates. So, I got those two. Again, the same prints. These are all from the pastel line. These are accent plates, 23 centimeters. There, um, there was no larger, and that's fine with me because I think this is a decent enough dinner size. It's great. And those colors there are the prints on each piece. In the same vein as the crockery that I've just shared with you is this gorgeous mug and this is a mug that my son Samuel gifted me and this is a beautiful sized mug too this is also one that you can sort of cup I love being able to cup the cup so to speak and it is in collaboration Robert Gordon with Bromley uh, both artists Robert Gordon is a crockery brand and then Bromley is an Australian artist and this one here is you know it's it's been fired it's been painted with eagles or australian birds yeah a variety of australian birds but uh, you know even without looking at the birds the colors on this mug are just gorgeous the base is roughly hewn sort of thing it's still quite rough and natural you've got bromley there as a signature and it's a 550 mil mug and it's beautiful the box also has here a design on the sides which match the design on the mug itself and on the back of the box is a little passage by written by the author himself about how he started out as a potter in southeast Queensland and then painting and sculpture became his new art form but he still sort of harks back to pottery. Next two items in this particular part one of my video are two pairs of shoes that I bought for myself this here is a pair of a Carvella. Can you guess what's in here? Can you though? Are you screaming heels, heels, heels for sure? Is that what you're saying? Well, you would be very much wrong. <laughs> I bought myself a pair of sneakers and these are just like fashion sneakers and these are in a blush color. They have white laces. There's the Carvella plaque here and it has like rose gold accents. So strip of leather here across the heel there's a little silver stud which says Carvella and all these little rose gold accents. Another pair of shoes these are definitely not heels are they this is a pair of running shoes which I actually needed so Christmas or not I would have bought them these are a pair of women's 860 v10 running shoes now I needed these in particular and this is the first time I'm trying New Balance and I had to get these ones because these have the inner arch support here and I need arch support. And these are great. I've worn them now a few times. They're very soft and light, uh, but the, the base feels quite firm. And at first I thought that they felt a bit too firm because I'm very used to ASICs, which is a little bit softer. But these were good. So once, now that I've become used to them, they actually feel really supportive and really comfortable around my foot when I'm walking or sort of jogging in them. I'm not doing a lot of running like I used to anymore. But Final two items are two gifts. This one here is from my gorgeous friend Amy. You've all met Amy because she was in a video with me recently when we did our double mulberry unboxing. She gifted me this alongside a ring light, a small portable ring light that you can clip on top of your phone or any other device that you're using. And that's this here. So it's got like this clip function and it has the lights, three settings. And I've used this already quite a few times. So that was also from Amy. And the other part of her Christmas gift was this. And this is from the Body Shop. And it's really pretty. It's got the pink color, the pink color. And it's got these people sort of doing various Christmas things. And when you remove the top part, the lid slowly, inside is this little bundle of goodies. And this is a scent 
that uh, Amy loves and has introduced to me and this is beautiful so those of you who are diehard the body shop fans you will recognize this this is the English rose line and this here is the yogurt body yogurt tub and it smells like old school roses but very subtle it's not full-on like some perfumes are for example so that's the body shop um, English rose no British rose and it smells really lovely that's a beautiful thick body cream there's the body the British rose petal soft hand cream little body loofah then there is the same thing the British rose body wash shower gel and the last item is the bar of soap which is also of the same scent I oh my gosh every time I smell this every time I smell it it just takes me back I swear I can't explain it but it just brings me back and it reminds me of my comfort zone it reminds me of my grandmother it reminds me of being a child and my neighbor and oh my god so many things in so many ways honestly Amy you you have no idea what this gift does to me. So that is that. It's just beautiful. And the last item I'm going to share with you in this part one of my What I Got For Christmas video is from Mum. And Mum gives my brothers and I money every year so that we can put towards something, so, you know, save up something. And I do have something that's coming up very soon that I will hopefully share with you to which I'm going to add that money. Anyway, this is just another little, let's call it a trinket. Even though she gives us money, she always likes to give us a little something as well to open on the day. And this is from Waterford Crystal. And inside the beautiful box, there is a beautiful crystal shamrock. So Maggie, you probably would be gasping at this, I imagine, I think. Anyway, this is a beautiful crystal, beautiful lead crystal shamrock. It's a beautiful deep emerald green. It has the sticker on it which says Waterford Crystal with the seahorse there, as you can see, which is intrinsically Waterford. And then also across the bottom, the very bottom there, the stem near my thumb, you will see Waterford etched into the crystal. And this is not the type of piece that can stand. It won't stand. Uh, this is something that you lay on something else so people would traditionally use this as a paperweight or I'm just going to have it on a beautiful little um, ceramic plate that I have and I'm going to keep this in a special place in my wardrobe. And this is gorgeous and I love crystal things like this and I love decadent ornamental type objects. I think they're beautiful and I know a lot of people say, oh, they're just dust collectors, but I love them. The box itself is this very sturdy dark sort of navy cool navy colored box it's got the waterford which is embossed in beautiful silver and these are the details if you're interested so pause and write those down so there you go that guys is my part one of what I got for Christmas. I have part two coming. There will be a few more items in that, not too many more, but I did want to break them up into two videos because they are of completely different genres, let's say. And I thought I would do that to make it just a bit briefer and a little bit more interesting. So let me know what you think of these things and I will talk to you next time. So take care everybody. God bless and I'll see you next time. Ciao.